Hi, so let's cover the agenda on boat switch today. We want to cover how we're going to connect boat switch to either our Ecomap unit or today we're going to be using our GPS map series. Uh, the number of channels that we can use, the max current, bare wire connection so we make it an easy connection. All the logic is built into it. So the nice thing, Adam, with Boat Switch is it's really plug and play in a simple setup through your Garmin chart plotter, correct? Yeah, it's just a matter of setting up what switches you want on your screen. So we'll show you how to do that also. Um, how it works with our current switches. So it's great for a retrofit, or like today we're on a 23-foot center console, and this is a brand new boat, right? So That's it's great correct. for that yeah, too. It's great for that. Um, you know, what other devices can it control? You know, can can it control jack plates and a lot of other different uh, devices like windlasses. We're gonna go into that also. Uh, how you actually use it and the user interface with your GPS map series or echo map unit. We wanna go into an explanation of latching switches. So Adam will go through what a latching switch is and how to actually use your current switches and if they will work with your boat switch, right? That's correct. Um, and then we're going to actually wire in navigation lights. We're going to show you a tank sensor that we can wire into this system here. So we can actually do up to four different tank sensors if you want to monitor what? Live well? Live well, um, your fuel, your fresh water, your raw water. Okay, so that'll be perfect too.